In this report, I'm going to talk about all the mines that Tesla needs to build 20 million cars a year. Consider this. Global lithium production was only 77,000 tons last year and Tesla needs 127,000 tons annually to make 20 million vehicles. Tesla needs almost twice more lithium than last year was produced in order to make 20 million vehicles welcome back dear friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla coverage and if you find this report informative please like it give it thumbs up and share in social media i would greatly appreciate so there is a very interesting story in mining.com by uh, freak else talking about all the metals that tesla needs and all the mines that tesla needs in order to be able to build 20 million cars a year so uh, he says uh, freak says Elon Musk and his merry band of executive vice presidents had plenty of advice for the mining and metals industry at the company's Battery Day event in September, where the roadmap to a $25,000 Tesla was laid out. How easy it is to mine lithium, just add salt. Just how much of it there is in Nevada, enough for 300 million electric vehicles, he says. How to be environmentally friendly, put the chunk of the dirt back where it was. And given these facts, why miners haven't been trying harder? Since lithium is just like widely available, according to Musk and Tesla scientists, they have eliminated other hard to come by metals like graffiti, uh, they can replace it with sand of a and obvs and cobalt from batteries at least in theory musk's prime raw material worry is nickel ahead of battery day in an investor conference call, Musk had a big shout out for all the nickel miners out there wherever they may be in the world hopefully near some nickel he said well I'd just like to re-emphasize any mining companies out there, please mine more nickel. Okay, wherever you are in the world, please mine more nickel and don't wait for nickel to go back to some long, some high point that you experienced some five years ago, whatever. Go for efficiency, obviously environmentally friendly nickel mining at high volume. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. So hopefully this message goes out to all mining companies. Please get nickel. End of the quote. Nickel was languishing below $10,000 a ton five years ago. Not exactly an incentive price, but whatever. Mine efficiently and at high volume, we should give that a try, fellas. Then we can make up in volume what we lose in price. At battery day, Musk also ended the mining lesson with a plea for nickel. Perhaps the world's miners did not get the preview shot out because this time Musk said he personally called out the CEO of the biggest mining companies. Elon Musk did at least end that auspicious day in the Tesla parking lot on a cautiously optimistic note. He said, it is very important, I think, they are going to make more nickel. They better a couple of days after the event, Musk confirmed in a tweet that Tesla will reach production of 20 million vehicles per year before 2030. So how much nickel and how much cobalt and also how much metal and mining they need in order to reach 20 million vehicles per year before 2030? Mining.com used data from Adams Intelligence, which tracks demand for electric vehicle battery by chemistry, cell uh, supplier, and capacity in over 90 countries to calculate the deployment of raw materials in Tesla cars on a sales weighted basis in 2020. By extrapolating those numbers, the company's use of raw material, if it was producing 20 million cars a year instead of 500,000 vehicles it made last year, was determined. So, metals Tesla needs to build 20 million cars a year. Graffiti, nickel, lithium, 
copper, manganese, cobalt, aluminum for battery, aluminum for vehicle, and magrail, which is NDPR, DYTB. I don't know what those numbers are. So, in for example, let's take graphite. In 2000, uh, actually, in uh, in it was uh, material required in order for Tesla to make 20 million cars. It needs 1 million 28,775 tons of uh, graffiti. But um, in 2019, the production was only uh, the production was 1 million 100,000. So we have plenty of graffiti. Okay, uh, and uh, nickel. The material required is 750,410 tons. Last year, uh, uh, in 2019, two, two and a half million tons was produced. Lithium is less. Lithium, Tesla needs 127,302 tons for 20 million vehicles, but in 2019, only 77,000 tons were produced. Imagine that other companies will also need these materials and the price and the demand for these materials that I just mentioned will go up. Tesla's models use on average around 45 kilograms of nickel. The numbers are based on the assumption that roughly 20% of Tesla new sold cars would be equipped with LFP batteries through 2030. And if, as expected, Tesla moves to NCMA chemistries in, Ch in China, I mean battery chemistries, nickel use would go up slightly and cobalt would go down marginally. When Tesla makes 20 million cars in a year, it will need more than 30% of global mined nickel production in 2019. 2020 saw a 20% plus reduction in output, by the way, for its batteries. Put another way, Tesla will have to buy the entire output of the top six producers, Norilsk, Vail, Jinshuan, Sumitomo, CleanCorp, BHP, and then some. These are the top six nickel producers. Or build the equivalent, equivalent of 23 miles like Sumitomo's Ambatovi mine in Madagascar at $8.5 billion a pop. Obviously, more money is no object for Musk, but still, get it to nameplate's capacity and you only have to build 12, but you will have to torture that ore body until it gives you straight minor, uh, mineralogy and ore grades so that you are not constantly reconfiguring the plant. This is not just an Ambatovi problem, but a common feature of nickel mines and no, that's not why it's called the Devil's Cooper. Now, if Tesla LFP battery does not prove popular and early buyers are less than enthusiastic about the cheaper models, Tesla would have to sign exclusive off-takes for the top 10 nickel producers and take most of the 18.5 million wet tons of ore, there is your volume now, from Philippines' number one producer, Asian Nickel, its annual exports. But China's nickel, peak iron, and stainless steel makers won't give up the supply so easily. And besides converting 0.9% nickel ore to battery-grade material cheaply and efficiently at high volume, maybe beyond even the rocket scientists at Musk SpaceX. That leaves Indonesia, where a number of high-pressure acid leaching HPAL projects using deep-sea tailings placements uh, are in development. HPAL operations will likely become a significant source of new supply for the battery supply chain. But HPAL and DSTP are not exactly the type of acronym you would want the prospective Tesla buyer who is in for green credentials to learn if you want to get 20 million. If you think artisanal mining in the Congo is a bad ESG look, you wouldn't want images of the red shores of Basmak Bay, the enter to enter the popular um, imagination. Since Tesla is replacing graphite anodes with silicon, it's not necessary to dwell on the fact that if this elusive scientific breakthrough is not commercialized at the speed of Tesla in ridiculous mode, the car maker would need 94% of the world's natural graphite production by the time it hits 20 million cars a year. At least you can make more graffiti. 
Likewise, with cobalt, the metal that dare not speak its name at Tesla, the requirement of more than half the globe's production before 2030 is irrelevant. Similarly, it's not worth mentioning that global lithium production was only 77,000 tons last year and Tesla needs 127,000 tons annually to make 20 million vehicles. Apart from nickel, a potential headache for Tesla 20 million a year, a rare Earth's 90% uh, of which come from China. Some three quarters of Tesla's motor use permanent magnets and should the ratio stay the same, the company will need nearly 40% of magnet rare earth mine output, according to Adamas, which also publishes a rare earth handbook and tracks the materials in EV motors. But as every popular science article ever written about rare earths says, the first paragraph, despite being called rare earths, they are not. In fact, the 17 elements are more abundant in the earth's crust than lithium. He says, I guess you could say rare earth are just like widely available. So friends, this is how much metal and mining Tesla needs in order to build 20 million cars a year. What do you think about this, friends? Let me know your comments in the your thoughts in the comment section below, please. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you found this interesting, please share in social media and give us thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla EV breaking news. Have a great day, guys. God bless you, everyone. See you soon.